Alright, Shalom. First, I want to start by giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh Kadash, Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai, Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai. Yahweh been the name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai been the name of His beloved Son, who the world inwardly calls Jesus Christ. That's their true names in the Lashwan Kadash, the ancient Hebrew. Double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone, and blessings and salutations to the Lord's elect. I'm back with another lesson through the spirit of Papi Hawa by Shema Shai. <clears throat> and um, the title of this lesson will be We Need Deliverance. You know, we need deliverance. All right. We need saving from this demonic ass world, from this God forsaken place. All right. As you've been hearing brothers say over the years, this is the worst case scenario, man. Okay, and that is a fact. All right, being over here um, in America, um, you know, this is the worst um, captivity that we ever had, man. You know, everything is out of whack, as the scriptures say. Um, let me grab it real quick. Upside down. Um <clears throat> You know, through Esau Edom, the so-called white man, you know, he done turned everything upside down. He done jacked everything up. Okay, and, uh, you know, we indeed feel, the, feel can feel the effects of it. You know, of course, we're in the curses, but nonetheless, we need, we need, we need deliverance. Okay, Isaiah 29 to 16, it says, Surely the turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not? Or shall the thing frame say of him that framed it? He had no understanding. Right? So surely the turning of surely your turning of things upside down. Right? He turned everything upside down. He put women <laughs> over men. Okay. He's not abiding by the laws of the Lord. You know, he's uh merc merciless merce <laughs> how do I say it? Merce mercilessly or unmerciful mercilessly Killing all the animals, all the creation of the Most High. He polluted the air, the water. He took all the nutrients of the foods. Okay, the scriptures say the earth will be given into the hands of the wicked. Okay, the scriptures speak about uh, the red horse taking peace from the earth. Okay, and that has indeed happened. Okay, and now we see the effects of, of uh, wickedness, man. When wickedness is exalted. Okay, it is very damaging uh, to life, to all life. Okay. But I wanted to open up with this scripture right here. That's all, pretty much all I had. It was Hebrews 13 and 14, one of my favorite scriptures. It says, for here, have we no continuing city right here in America, Babylon the Great. Okay, Babylon goes back to Babal, which means confusion. Okay, that's another aspect of this place. It's full of confusion. People don't know who they are. People will identify with whatever they want to identify for that day. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> that's all you get in this place. It's confusion. Okay, so it says, it says, for here have we no continuing city, right? This is not the end all be all. This is not our rest, as the scriptures tell us. Uh, uh, Micah, uh, let me get it. Micah two and ten. Okay, I'm just bouncing around. Micah two and ten. It says, "Arise ye and depart." Speaking to the tribes, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, arise ye and depart spiritually from this place. Okay, because if you get up physically and hop on a plane, first of all, you need permission from the so-called white man. You need a passport. All right, which costs costs money. Okay, you hop on a plane and go where? Where are you gonna go? The earth, the whole earth was given into this man's hands. All right, and no matter where you go, the follow. I mean, the curses will follow you. <clears throat> okay, so we're we're to arise and depart spiritually from this world. Okay, the scriptures say, "Flee the shadow of this world." Right? It says, "Arise ye and depart." But this is not your rest, right? And that's and we're reminded that this is not a rest every day. Every every damn day, uh, we're reminded 
um, that this world ain't for us, man. If you're a so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, all right? Because we are the Israelites over here on this side of the earth being punished, okay? <clears throat> the scripture said the Lord will, um, you know, set up the basis of men, okay? And that should bring to us shame the fact that the Lord put the basis man, uh, man over us to show us, a, uh, to, to show us a lesson, man. That we're to fear him and keep his commandments, man. And to abide by his word. Okay? So it says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. <clears throat> because it is polluted, right? This place is polluted, man. You know, here it is. You can try to eat your best. But, you know, you, the food that we eat really ain't got no nutrients in it. It ain't got no minerals in it. You got to buy all these supplements just to, <coughs> so like it, just to remain somewhat healthy. Which, you know, Esau's getting paid for. He's benefited from it all. He's benefited from it all, man. Whether you're buying, uh, you know, organically or whether you're buying regular stuff, produce. <clears throat> you're buying supplements. You're sick. You're in the hospital. He's benefited, benefited from it all, man. Okay. On well, every, every aspect of life, this, this place is polluted. Okay. And mainly it pollutes your mind. Okay. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. And before that physical destruction comes, it's gonna get you mentally, spiritually, emotionally. It's gonna it's gonna drain you, it's gonna destroy you. Okay, so going back. This is uh Hebrews thirteen and fourteen. It says, For here we have no continual city, right? This is not our end, it's not the end all be all. But well, we seek one to come, right? We're waiting upon the kingdom of heaven. The scriptures speak of a, 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 a new heaven and a new earth, which is a new rulership, okay? Which is going to be the opposite of this place. Everything's going to be in perfect order, okay? Everything's going to be in uh, perfect righteousness, okay? We're not going to have all these, uh, all these unrighteous decrees like we have today, you know? Every time you turn around, you got to pay a goddamn bill. All right. That's that's this shit. This is a damn unrighteous kingdom. <clears throat> but this is our punishment. Okay, be, be, uh, for our disobedient disobedience against our God, our power, Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Okay, so we deserve this. Okay, we deserve this, man. You know, as much as we complain in in, our, in the spirit, hey, you know, at the end of the day, we deserve it. The Lord saw this judgment uh, fit. Okay. And we know our God is a just God. So. This. <clears throat> you know, this captivity makes you want to, you know, never sin again. Never go off again. We only want to please our power. Okay. Um, right. So here we go. For here we have no continuing city where we seek one to come. You see, but our people think that this is it. You know, they, they trying to establish themselves in this world. You know, they have the mindset of if you can't beat them, join them. You know, they are completely defeated, uh, a completely uh, defeated mindset against this devil. You know, their whole thing is, well, fuck it, I'm here. Let me try to get as much money as I can, which money ain't going to buy you out of this. Money is not going to fill that void within you. Okay, this is a spiritual problem that we're dealing with. Okay, we got to return back to our power, Yahweh by Shemel Shai. We got to wait upon our Lord, Yahweh Shai, to deliver us from this place, man. Straight up. Straight up. Okay. It's the NLT. It says, for this world is not our permanent home. Right, this is not our permanent home. Okay. <clears throat> Every year that, that, comes, that comes and goes... You know, we're hoping that it's that year. We're hoping that 2024 is the year that we get out of here, man. Which we're on the cusp of, of that. We're on the cusp of all of these prophecies coming to pass, man. Come on now. We just had a, um, a, 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 a solar eclipse uh, yesterday, man. You know, which that's a, that's a major sign that the return of our Lord is nigh. A major sign. Okay, but was our people drawn to that? Not really. Not really, man. They're not lining it up with the scriptures. 
they don't know that these things are prophesied in the Bible. Let me get it real quick. Let me read. Let me finish this. For this world is not our permanent home. We are looking forward to a home yet to come. Right. That's the kingdom of heaven, which is going to be conducive to our spirit. Okay. All the laws are going to be. Uh, 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 first of all, we're going to be changed. Okay. We're going to be changed. We ain't going to be in this vile flesh like we are today. <clears throat> you know, um, rehearsing the righteous acts. No, we're going to every our every move is going to be righteous. Okay, our every move is going to be righteous. Our every thought is going to be righteous. Okay. Uh, what was I going to grab? Oh yeah, Joel two. Real quick. This is Joel two. Um. I started twenty eight. It says, and it and it shall come to pass, afterward, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. All right. And, 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 and uh, you know, a bunch of people are having and have been having. All right. Uh, what they call in time dreams. OK. People are seeing visions of the time of Jacob's trouble. People are seeing visions of America being destroyed. People are seeing visions of all hell breaking loose through the streets of America. Okay, people are having these type of visions, man. People are having visions of, of 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 UFOs filling up the skies. You know, that's the Lord pouring out His Spirit upon all flesh. Okay, it says, and I will show wonders in the heavens, and in the earth. Blood and fire, pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness. Right? That's your solar eclipse. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood. That's your blood moons. Come on now. That eclipse was special, man. Right over America, going through all those uh, uh, biblical cities. Okay? Okay. <clears throat> You know, over where we was at, over here in Southern Cali, I wasn't, you know, was able to really see it like that. But I know in other states, brothers was able to see it, right? The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood. How many blood moons have we had over the last 15 years before the great and terrible day of the Lord come? Okay, so all of these things are, are more signs of Yahweh Shai's return. Okay, which he said, um, <clears throat> you gotta bear with me, man. I'm, I'm uh, under the weather right now, going through it, man. <laughs> hey, man, we need deliverance, man. All right, uh, being sick is not fun. All right, but you know, Esau spraying them chemtrails. <clears throat> you know, the food is, is, is basically lab food, fake food. We just being attacked on all fronts, man. You know, we got to get changed, man. We got to, we need to get out of here, man. Which I know, it's, you know, it's going to, it's going to uh, be sooner than later, man. You know, uh, here we go. Matthew 24 and 32. It says, now learn a parable of the fig tree when his branches yet tender and put it forth leaves. You know that si summer is nigh, right? That's a sign, right? That's a sign of the change of seasons. You know, just like we're in this time of spring, everything is blooming to life. You're right. And you could tell that it's spring. You can see it. <clears throat> you know, you can see it creep in. Right. And as we get closer to summer, you're going to you're going to see the temperatures rise depending on where you are. <clears throat> you're going to you're going to be able to feel that it's summer. Are, we're approaching summer Okay It says now learn a parable of the fig tree When his branches yet tender and put it forth leaves You know that summer is nigh So likewise ye When ye shall see all these things Know that it is near even at the doors Okay and we are seeing all these things So we know that uh, All these events You know ultimately the return of our Lord Yahweh Shai is, is at the doors man Okay It's at the doors <clears throat> you know, so You know, we gotta keep fighting Keep hoping 
<clears throat> keep praying to our power, Yahweh by some outside to uh, get us out of here, man. All right. This is Luke 18 and 1. It says, And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men are always to pray and not to faint. Right? We got to constantly put up them prayers to Yahweh by Shemel Shad, man. Which is a, that's a pleasing thing to the Lord. That's a pleasing thing to the Lord. Scripture speak about a sign and crying. Right? Let me just keep going. All right? But it says, men are all, always to pray and not to faint. Right? Prayer is going <clears> to, <throat> you know, you praying to the Lord for strength, for endurance, for faith. And that's going to keep your hope alive, man. To where you're not able to faint. All right. Saying there was a there was in a city a judge which feared not the most high, neither regarded man, right? And there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of mine adversary. And he would not for a while. But afterward he said within himself, Though I fear not the most high, right? That's not his that's not his motivation to do something, nor regard man, yet because his widow troubleth me. I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she wearied me, right? Because Esau calls this uh, parable the importunate widow, which is my favorite parable. All right, the importunate widow. So she was a, he, was, he was annoyed by her. So he didn't do it because it was the right thing to do. He did it because he, he don't want to be bothered by her no more. You know, I was trying to make it a point. It says, yet because this widow troubleth me, I will avenge her. Lest by her continual coming she weary me. And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge saith. And shall not the most high avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him? Why are we crying day and night unto Yahweh by Shemel Shai? Our spirits are crying out to our power, Yahweh by Shemel Shai, to get us out of here, to take down this damn Edomite, to destroy this goddamn place, you know? To avenge us, Baba Kusha. And shall not the Most High avenge his own elect, which Lord's where we are, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear along with them? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Okay? And we know when the Lord says something, it's, it's, it's final. It's sure. Okay, the Lord going to avenge us speedily, man. Watch Lord's will. We, we are the elect, and we make it out of here. We're going to be like, man, we didn't know that the, that time was that short, you know? Right now, it seems long because we in this flesh, you know. Not only are we in this flesh, but we got to work. You know, the scriptures speak about the saints being worn out. You should wear out the saints, you know. We, we, we worn out in this damn place. You know, we're getting older, you know. But time is flying. You know, we damn near already in the middle of April. You know, it does not feel like it's been four months. It does not feel like that, man. Shit, we could go back to 2020. It does not feel like it's been four years, you know, but it's been four years, man. Where's time going? The Lord said he was shortening the days for his elect right? I tell you that he will avenge him speedily. Nevertheless, when the son of man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? Okay, so we got to continually uh, believe, continually wait upon our power. How about Shemel Shai? Because the Lord is definitely going to avenge us, man. Okay, it's definitely going to avenge us, but we definitely need to be delivered out of this place because this place is hell, man. You know, and any any of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that desire to be here, man, may the Lord, <laughs> may the Lord uh, uh, deal with you, man. May the Lord deal with you, man, for wanting to remain in captivity as a slave under these goddamn heathens, man. May the Lord, may the Lord judge you, man. All right, so, you know, just when the spirit, we need deliverance. Lord's words edifying. Giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh by Shema Havashai, by Shema Kakwadash. Until next time, Shalom.